Susceptibility weighted image is what is going to test the susceptibility magnetic susceptibility or loss of signal intensity which could be by iron or calcium. So, it is mainly going to pick up foci of bleed slash mineralization. So, this is where you see the loss of signal, this is the susceptibility. GRE is something that you can do, but most institutes do SWI. So, SWI is a more um, robust version of gradient echo if I can tell you. So, it can give you this image which is much more sensitive, right. So, that is what is usually preferred. So, you see all of these foci of blooming, various DDs for blooming, you know, would be uh, mineralization or multiple bleeds. So, in context of trauma, it could be multifocal micro hemorrhages like D. AI, it could be multiple septic emboli which may be seen in cases of vasculitis. You may have multifocal mineralization which could be calcified granulomas, right? So, it could be calcified granulomas or NCC neurocysti cerci. It could be air emboli which have been uh, uh, spread to the brain through microcapillaries. So, these are the various DDs that you have for multifocal blooming. Right.